ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening, and welcome to Sports Sunday. I'm Julian Gibson. When the competition gets on the way this coming Friday at the Scotiabank High School Track and Field Nationals, CV Bethel will be trying to go after CR Walker once again, and SAC will be trying to hold off Queen's College. Entries uh, are still coming in. Um, I cannot say specifically, but of course you would have seen what took place at the Grifter Games, and uh, we don't see anything being much less than that because bear in mind that this event will also use as qualifiers for the Junior Pan American Games that are coming up very shortly. There's also the World Youth Championships that are coming up, and so the athletes will be looking to continue to maintain their fitness. And of course, the rivalry between the schools, I mean, SAC and uh, Queen's College and CB Bethel, and of course, we won't forget Moores Island. Um, Pastor Williams has indicated that he's coming to Nassau for Moores Island to break the high school national record in the 4x4. And folks, you need to start packing your bags. The countdown is on for the National Family Island Regatta starting next week, Monday, not tomorrow. People in here in Exuma is really excited about this 60th year of. Um, Regatta, you know, um, this regatta also reflect uh, 40 years of independence. So they are really, really um, get up for this, this, this regatta. Mm -hmm. You guys put in plenty of work, I understand, on trying to pull this one off. Oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah, we really try, Julian. Um, it, it isn't easy. You know, the economy isn't too good here in Exuma. Things are really slow. And um, sponsorship is, is very hard. So we are uh, up to the last minute. We got to go try to get the sponsorship so we could pull this off. I understand you guys did some work to the regatta site. People see a new refurbished regatta site. Yeah, uh, work is going on as we speak. Um, when you when you reach out there, you'll see a different site. You know, we're trying to get it as best as we could. Um, we would, it wouldn't be where we wanted to be, but for this sixtieth year of regatta, it's, it's a much better change from last year. And in the House of Assembly on Wednesday, Prime Minister Perry Christie announced that he would like to see the 2014 Carifta team with team members from all over the Bahamas. Next year, I hope that there are athletes in Moors Island, athletes in Abaco, athletes in Exoma, athletes in North Andrews, athletes in Illustra, athletes in Long Island. I hope we will join together. And I beg your pardon, and Cat Island, Rum Kings, and Salvador. <laughs> we want the athletes to know, <clears throat> not only will the government of the Bahamas, and you can see the opposition as well, that the entire parliament of the Bahamas yes. is committed to giving you the best opportunity to be the best you can at all times you can <coughs> and every, every place where you're competing. Meanwhile, leader of the opposition, Dr. Hubert Minnis, says that the Bahamas games needs to return. So as we can garner athletes, not only from New Providence, but from the rest of the Bahamas. But if we are to mature, we must, use, we must move sports beyond politics. We cannot have games only before election for election process. And finally in sports, the Chris Brown Track and Field Invitational wrapped up last night. Starting on Monday, you will see all of the highlights. That's all the time for sports on a Sunday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. Your better forecast is still to come. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.